It's been 35 years since DC Comics first tried rewriting its universe by shrinking its myriad Earths into a single planet big enough to hold all its capes and cowls. With its landmark crisis on infinite Earths since undone and overwritten countless times, DC erased from its history books countless costumes who have defined the company for more than nearly five decades. Among those vanishing into the great big nothing was the original Batman, the Golden Age iteration of Bruce Wayne who took his first swing across Gotham City in Detective Comics number 27 in 1939, then in 1986, ceded his place in the comics to his sleeker Silver Age counterpart. For the Golden Age Batman's farewell, of sorts, DC reintroduced him all over again in an issue of Secret Origins published in 1986. In the sixth issue of that title, writer Roy Thomas retold the familiar tragic tale of Bruce Wayne, the little boy who witnessed his parents' brutal murders, the young man who swore vengeance, the Batman who became comics' most beloved vigilante. Thomas fleshed out the story, made Bruce even more flesh and bone than earlier iterations, and it helped too that Thomas had as a sidekick for this adventure Marshall Rogers, whose Bronze Age Batman is as definitive as the Cape Crusaders drawn by Neil Adams or Jim Aparo or Dick Giordano, maybe even more so given Rogers and collaborator Steve Englehart's impact on the Tim Burton Batman that hit the big screen in 1989. This splash page rendering is rare Rogers indeed, in part because it's the only time Rogers got to draw a full page Batman. It's also important because the artist wouldn't sign on to tell the secret origin of the Golden Age Batman unless he was allowed to draw the Cape Crusader as he first appeared in the comics, without that yellow oval on his chest. He wanted to draw Batman as he was in the earliest days, a dark night on a dark night. And the result is something quite rare and even more perfect.